Welcome back viewers and subscribers of PVT News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nube, and I'm here just to give an update uh, as promised about the incident regarding an, a triple C supporter who was slain in Harare a few days ago. His name is Mr. Dinashe Tsunge. Uh, you would know that uh, the last time we spoke to you, that was yesterday, we were imploring authorities in Zimbabwe to take drastic measures to ensure that those who were involved uh, in the attack on C supporters, which resulted uh, in the fatal stoning of Mr. Chitsunge, uh, accounted for. Uh, we have some bit of uh, better news. It cannot be uh, celebrated because it involves uh, the death of a human being who left behind uh, two children and relatives but uh, at the same time we have some bit of encouraging news rather uh, of the arrest of some of the people that were involved in this uh, violence on triple c supporters we haven't yet verified their names and their party belonging because we fear that some of those that were arrested were actually supposed to be protected as victims of this attack so we haven't yet had uh, about the names and actual political belonging of those that were arrested but police say that they've arrested 12 people in connection with the violence that uh, resulted in the death of mr china dinashe Chitsunge. they are saying that they are still investigating uh, further to arrest more people that were involved in this kind of violence uh, we would like to applaud members of the zrp if indeed the people that were arrested were those that uh, were involved in the violence and were those that resulted uh, in the matter of Misty uh, Chitsunge, which is cold blooded, which is brutal, which is also uh, uncalled for. So we are yet to hear the full names of those that were arrested. We hope that when they are taken to court, we will hear their full names and we will also be able to verify their political belonging because as I have said, there is a lot of selective application of the law in Zimbabwe, especially when it comes to dealing with polit uh, political violence cases, especially when it deals with uh, suspected or confirmed ZANU-PF supporters. So at the end of the day, we cannot celebrate as yet fully because we are yet to verify if indeed the people that were arrested were those that were involved in the violence but also uh, we have disturbing information that we are getting M many of you might have seen some videos that are doing the rounds may have seen some pictures that are doing the rounds uh, in which uh triple c supporters and officials uh, are said to have been attacked by uh, members of the ruling ZANU PF party, and of late, these uh, incidences seem to be ex ex escalating. Uh, we saw uh, on Twitter the Triple C spokesperson, that is Advocate Fatai Mahere, posting a video uh, of a burning house in which she, she claimed that this house belongs to one of their officials in second it hasn't yet been verified by us so we cannot speak with authority on that but if indeed these cases of political violence are escalating as we are being told as we see or on social media then this need uh, to, needs to be condemned uh, it needs to receive the condemnation that it deserves because a few days before elections 43 years after our country gained its independence, we cannot be talking to political violence whenever we are approaching elections. We cannot be talking intolerance when we are approaching elections. We should be discussing manifestos and being able to campaign freely and fairly, as well as to discuss politics with whoever is nearby, with whoever we feel like talking to. But right now, it seems that people have to look behind their back. They have to look uh, over their shoulders before they can say anything in as far as their political preferences are concerned. But I would also like, as a channel that uh, was formed to fight fake news and disinformation, would like to also warn against the spreading of uh, videos and pictures that are not uh, related to what uh, 
we are being told for example the digging up of pictures that we have seen uh, some of the pictures being digged from very long back uh, being claimed to be from zimbabwe some videos you saw a video of a man in green assaulting another man who was lying down tied up and it was claimed that this was uh, a zanu pf member in matopo uh, or a zanu pf member elsewhere uh, there were different locations given for this. Uh, some claimed that it was uh, Mr. Energy Mutoti uh, who was speeding up uh, this other guy. And it turned out that this was all fake news. So at the same time, while we uh, deplore incidences of political violence, we would also like to advise Zimbabweans against spreading fake information, against spreading fake news, against spreading pictures that are not related to the political violence in Zimbabwe or cooking up cases against uh, the government or ZANU-PF just so that they can uh, gain political mileage out of this because at the end of the day after elections there will still be a Zimbabwe to build there will still be uh, an economy to rebuild there will still be uh, a need for us to turn around the economic fortunes and the political fortunes of our country so we must be able to know that uh, we do not gain anything from dating the image of the country outside all that we need to do is to come together as Zimbabweans preserve the life of Zimbabweans protect each other as Zimbabweans engage each other as Zimbabweans find each other as Zimbabweans because at the end of the day politics is but one uh, of the spheres that we live in we were not born for politics we were not born uh, to live for politics and we cannot die for politics at the end of the day politics should be a, a contestation of ideas on how to better the lives of zimbabweans on how to rebuild the lives of, Zimba, of, of zimbabweans on how to rebuild the economy uh, of zimbabwe on how to equitably distribute the opportunities and resources of our country we cannot be then using that to further divide ourselves. Politics should unite people. It should make people see uh, in a better way how they can move forward together as a nation. I hope uh, that we will, as much as we want to expose incidences of political violence, as much as we want to deal with incidences of political violence, we will also fight fake news whenever you see fake news being spread do not be part of those that spread it be part of those who fact check and expose peddlers of fake news because at the end of the day they are not affecting only zanu pf they're not affecting only the government of zimbabwe but they are affect affecting even you as an ordinary zimbabwean as an ordinary zimbabwean because at the end of the day if zimbabwe's image continues to be dragged down the mud you will also be affected the sanctions will be maintained further sanctions will be imposed the economic downturn will continue and you will be the one to suffer the most because these politicians do not lose a lot uh, because they live a life of luxury at the end of the day they cut deals in the cover of, dark, of darkness across political parties and they don't care much about us as uh, zimbabweans as ordinary zimbabweans they only use us to get votes once they get votes they forget about us thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it policy the son of nube i sign off